Hello, uh, welcome to Shanghai Mayset. Um, today you have uh, me, Dominic, and um, I'm here to show you our showroom. And uh, today we have uh, my assistant, Miss Julia. Say hello. Hello. And uh, this is our showroom. And uh, from our showroom, you can see we have uh, different uh, models. This is MC10, and uh, this is SM Echo, still under construction. And uh, this is also MC10, and uh, this is MC88. And uh, this is the racer. Uh, this is the racer model. And uh, over here we have the Isameko. This is Isameko model. And uh, here we have the body composition analyzer. And uh, here we have the uh, nine in one beauty device. And uh, so let's get on with it. So this is the MC88. The MC88 has the black color and it has the white gold. So the MC88 is very easy to use. So when you get your MC88 after creating your account, um, let's assume you have a client and now you, she needs to do an analysis. So firstly, you need to create uh, a profile for your client. So you click on new and uh, on the name, it's Julia. And uh, you can add the picture or not. And then you choose the gender, female. And uh, the birthday needs to be accurate. Hello, Miss. What's your birthday? Uh, so the birthday date of birth needs to be accurate. Jubanya Shama. So the date of birth needs to be accurate. If not, the analysis report might have some error because the, the device depends on the skin age for its analysis. So you need to make sure that the client's date of birth is accurate. Even if they don't want to give you the date, at least the year needs to be accurate. So you can also add the, your client's uh, email so you can directly send the analysis report to his email from the device. You can add the phone number and the, the address. So after creating the profile, you click save and uh, then you click your client and this is proceed to shoot. So I haven't connected this device, uh, this uh, iPad to this uh, device before. So I'm going to show you how to connect it. So he is asking you, would you like to uh, connect your camera? Allow. Allow. So it's connected. Now it's automatically connected. Uh, oh, please, your face. My face here. Yes. So you need to make sure that your client's face is well positioned on the bracket inside here. So the MCW8 has a magnetic hoodie, uh, which is used to provide uh, to pro to protect the camera from the environmental light. So you just uh, click here, and uh, the hoodie is out. So close your client's face. And uh, there is another point. As you can see, she's wearing a white dress. So if your client is wearing a white dress, it's going to reflect on the camera. Um, so like I was saying, um, you need to make sure that the client is well positioned on the bracket. Uh, yes, like this. There is a bracket here and below, so the client needs to be well positioned. And uh, you need to cover with the hoodie. And uh, can you hold it? Yes. And uh, so uh, you already uh, created the profile for the client. So we just uh, click, and uh, here needs proceed to capture, and it will automatically connect to the device. Close your eyes, please. So um, can you? Turn your face to your to your right a little bit. No, 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 just a little bit. Left a little bit. S stop. Right a little bit, just a little bit. Stop. So as you can see the lines on the screen, you need to make sure your client is well positioned and then you can proceed to capture. So the capture takes normally five to 10 seconds. Uh, it's very quick. And uh, 
you can proceed to analysis after capture. So now the, the capture is done, you can click here to retake the pictures if there is a problem. And you can click here to proceed to analyze. So now the analysis is done. Skip. If you don't have the moisture pen, you can skip it. But if you have the moisture pen, you can click on test. And uh, after using the moisture pen on the face, the report from the moisture pen will also show in the analysis report. So, but now we don't have it here now, so we're going to skip it. And uh, this is the analysis report. So this is the RGB light, this is the normal light. You can uh, view the skin clearly. And uh, this is sensitivity. So from here, you can use it to see the sensitive areas of the skin. So if there, if uh, you have a misunderstanding of the explanation, you can click on this question mark here for a clear explanation. So uh, from the sensitivity part, you have the red areas. So from the red areas, you can see the more the red of the area, the more sensitive it is. So you can see these parts are very sensitive. And uh, we have the heat map. So from the heat map, you can also see the sensitive areas. This red place is very sensitive. And then we have the spots. So from the spots, you're going to see the, uh, the spots on the skin. You can see it's circled. And uh, we also have the spots aging. So the spot aging, what it does, it is going to show you how your client is going to look after a few years if he or she doesn't proceed to treatment. So it's very good for uh, for persuading your clients to start treatment, and it's very also it's also a very good marketing skill. And uh, we have the brown. So the brown shows you the brown image of the client. So uh, if there is some skin problem, you could you are not able to see from the other places. You can also be able to check it and see it from here. And if you need more explanations, you can also click on the question mark to explain to you better. And uh, we have the wrinkles. So the wrinkles is going to show you the pattern and how much wrinkles the face has. So from here, you can see the patterns of, this, of the wrinkles. So you can know uh, how to proceed the treatment and uh, which area has the wrinkles. So here you can see there is a dark, there is a place more dark green than the other greens. So the more dark green it is, it means it's more deep. So and uh, here it also has a circle for you for the acne. So here is the wrinkle aging. So this wrinkle aging also shows your client how his or her face is going to look if they don't proceed treatment. So like I said, it's very good for marketing. And here is the pores. So here shows you the pores. And uh, you can be able to see if your client has uh, big open pores. If they need uh, skin tightening, you can be able to predict and you can be able to see it from here. And uh, we have the UV spots. So from the UV spots, you can be able to see uh, the black spots on the face, even though it's not visible to the eyes, but you can see it in the dermis level. So it's very easy to see it from here. So you can also use another filter we call the green. So from the green, you can be able to see it more clearly. So you can see from here that there are so many black spots. This person already has uh, an, uh, an acne breakout before. And the, now the skin is maybe better, but from the UV, you can be able to see everything. You can be able to see the history of the acne and uh, if, you, if the client needs uh, to treat it, if he needs to clear the black spot, you can be able, she can be able to see it and uh, start to treat it on time. And actually this black spot is going to actually surface on the skin surface later on if they don't treat it, so they can start the treatment on time. So we also have the monochrome. It's also this, almost the same, but also uses UV light. And there is a different filter. So if there is some 
uh, some stuff you are not able to conclude from here. You can also be able to see it from monochrome. And here we have the porphyrins. Here you can be able to see the fatty deposits in the skin pores. And uh, if it needs cleaning, you can be able to clean it. And uh, like I told you, we have the beauty 9-in-1 uh, beauty device. And uh, you can be able to use uh, this device for pores cleansing, pore tightening, and uh, oxygen injection, and ATC. Like I told you, it's 9-in-1 device. And here we have the woods light. The woods light is going to give you... Uh, a clearer view of the face uh, skin pores. It's like a galaxy and you can be able to see and predict the skin. So here we have the tagging. If there is an observation you made and you would like to tag it or write something, you can click uh, the, uh, the tagging mark. So uh, for example, uh, let me use another image, uh, UV and the green. For example, I made an observation on this picture and I would like to tag it. I would click here and click mark and I could circle it. And I could also write Write my observation. So after after you finish, it will also show on the analysis report. So we also have the mosaic. Save. You can save it. So later on, it's going to show on the analysis report. And uh, for the tagging, if your clients likes to protect their privacy, you can use the mosaic. It's good to protect the client's uh, privacy if they really want it. But if not, you can ignore it. It also has so many other functions to edit the, the pictures for your client. And uh, you can, for example, the mosaic, you can save it. So when you save it, this is the conclude analysis. So this is the analysis report. This is how it looks like. Um, <clears throat> This is the ports, wrinkles. And uh, like I told you, this has a marketing functions. Uh, from here, you can see the recommended products. So this recommended product, it's recommended based on the skin problem. Uh, if you click the sensitivity, you can see the recommended product is different. If you click sports, the recommended product is also different. So it recommends the product based on the skin problem. So uh, before analysis, you can be able to put your products in the device. You can choose the prices. You can write the usage uh, uh, instructions and everything. So after analysis, it can recommend automatically recommend the products to your client. So they can be able to select the ones they want. And uh, you can also write some notes, some observations, and save. So here you can see the price of this product and everything. So from here you can be able to send the analysis reports to your client's email directly. This is the email. You can send it to the email. So let's assume I want to send this report to my email. This is my email. It's already here before. And uh, just like that, it's already sent to your client's email. And uh, also if you would like to include the pictures you uh, edited before, the ones you marked, you can click marked images and select the ones you would like to be included in the analysis report and click save. So when you click save, you see it's already here. So I would send it to the email. And also if you would like to print it, you can click print and it will connect to the uh, nearest printer around you. <clears throat> and also, if you'd like to export it as a picture to the uh, to the device, you can click here, and it will ask you allow access. Just allow access, and uh, it's already saved to the pictures. And uh, you can see that from here, it's already saved. So you can see. 
So like I told you, our device is very easy and user friendly. So um, this is how to uh, use our device and I will show you how to put the product in the next video.